Good Friday. We hired a digger and a dumper truck and we have got a lot to do this weekend. We haven't got off to a great start. The dumper truck just won't move. If you thought my garden looked bad at the beginning of weekend, look at it now. Welcome and good morning. It's Good Friday and it's not a normal bank holiday weekend for Mark and I. Well, maybe it is as we're DIYers, but we've hired a digger and a dumper truck and we have got a lot to do this weekend. So when we actually ordered the hire, it was forecast to be nice weather. Now, I'm not so sure, so we'll wait and see. I'm currently on breakfast duties and just trying to get some food ready for the weekend and Mark started outside. So let me take you outside and show you what we're hoping to achieve. This is the main area that needs attention. So from now on, I'm going to refer to this as the courtyard. So if I show you, the bottom of the extension is a lot lower than the soil. There, you can see a bit better. So we've got to remove all of this off and level it all off tidy it all up. Now you can see that the oil tank is over there and we've got to dig a trench joining up the oil tank to the boiler which is going to be there and there also needs to be a big drainage drench for the guttering. So that's what we're doing out here. Now as I said this is going to be called the courtyard. Eventually we'll have a wall or fence going across there. This is the most hideous shed that was here when we moved in. This will go and it's going to be a nice open dining area. We're calling that the cart shed. So that's one of the jobs. Let's see what else needs to so Mark has already started. Now this is a big pile of rubble and soil that we have had from when we dug out foundations for the extension and it costs so much money to remove that we're just having it removed as and when but anyway he's trying to push all of that over when the lorry comes to collect the soil they collect it over the hedge so he's currently oh, let me just point out the little robin there where is he there somewhere he's currently pushing all that back and consolidating it so that we can put some new rubble there and then obviously we'll have to get that taken away there are some big tree trunks here that need going so hopefully we'll get the opportunity to take those out. You know this part of the garden well this weekend we're hoping just to scrape off the top of this as well move these stones and just generally clear all this so that I can start making this area look as nice as that. I don't normally show you this area because it's truly hideous. Rowan's not quite ready to get rid of the trampoline yet. And this is going to be my lovely cutting garden and a little bit of a veg plot as well with raised beds. So at some point, this is going to look absolutely beautiful too. We haven't got off to a great start. As you can see, Mark started with the digger but now the dumper truck just won't move the wheels aren't moving or one of the wheels isn't moving so sorry one of the tracks sorry mark's correct me one of the tracks is not moving so we've got somebody coming out to have a look hopefully they know what it is and they can fix it quite quickly otherwise we're off to a very very slow start and whilst mark is getting the dumper truck sorted i've just whipped up a quick quiche for lunch and there's lovely jacket potatoes in the oven so we're not going to go hungry. Right, so we're back on track, literally. So it's all systems go again. Mark said that that little damper is a bit of a nightmare to drive. So that's my job today. We'll see how I get on.
With all the noise going on out here, we've set Rowan up with a temporary desk. She's revising for her exams. So the fire's on. We've moved Maple in here as well. And she's here working away. We should really leave her. We'll leave you alone, Poppet. Oh, this looks good, Rowan. You're taking a break from revising, yep. making your infamous pear pudding. Yep. That looks delicious. So you've done one dairy-free custard, custard. One and one custard. normal custard. Yeah. I'm assuming those are the normal ones. Yeah, because normal's better. They look delicious. Right, I'll go and call Dad and Dimmy. Good morning. It's day two, so it's Saturday. We're still diggering and dumper trucking. We got a lot of soil moved yesterday and we've still got a fair bit to do today. Well, lots to do today. So let me show you what we've done. Just looking out the window, you can see that we're now a lot lower there. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I can't bear to watch. That looks really dangerous. Right, I really should go out and help Mark. So as you can see, we did clear a fair bit. We're actually going to terrace this on a gentle slope. We've still got a lot to do. And over where that blue car is, we need to move the car and dig a big, big soak away for the drains. So as normal, it's all systems go keep jumping in and digging out old bits of china got some interesting ones that's pretty that's an old pudding bowl and i love this it's a little glass bottle so you can see that the garden is really mowed up again so just to put it into context there's my pretty stock garden this is the mess that will be a lovely flower and vegetable garden and um, there's the front there so the pretty garden that I'm working on at the front it's all going to look lovely at some point I assure you that's over there the big trunks that we need to take out and this is where I was dumping all the soil yesterday so I really should go and help Mark do a bit more now so whilst I'm waiting for the dumper truck to fill up, I thought that I'd show you my lovely spring wreath, which is just flowering just in time for Easter. Spin round to the garden. But actually, what I'm going to do now, I've just bought some shop-bought onions and I'm going to just plant them in some of the gaps. And I'm hoping that they'll flower and look like alliums. It's a bit of an experiment, but Let's see. I, all I can do is try.
we've run out of diesel so Mark's going to get diesel and I'm just popping into town now to get some things for lunch because we're running a bit low so I'll come back to the onions in a bit okay I'm back lunch is sorted so let's carry on planting some onions so we're digging along the boundary and we've just found an old building there's no mention of any old buildings on the plans but the bricks are about the same age as the bricks that are used on the house is that the victorian part of the house mark or um, uh yes the front because actually the, i think the earlier bricks are slightly smaller so i'm wondering this is whether this was a outside privy it could be couldn't it yeah, actually that's a 50s one the one we've got on there now so it is possible isn't it but this was the outside yeah. toilet and at some point quite a lot of sense i reckon uh, yeah, because you would have come straight out the, the back door and walked a straight line to, to here. And they were a, a little way away from the house, weren't they? For obvious reasons. Yeah. So that's exciting. I wonder if we'll find anything in here. Pot of gold, We could do hopefully. with finding some treasures. Eh? We could do with finding some treasures. I, know, I did find a little hoop of some description. Yes, which yeah. Which is over there on the window. Will you be able to get the metal detector out later as well? Yeah, it's tea and everything, though. So. Well... And all I keep finding is rusty bits of iron. <laughs> OK, well, yeah. let's get digging, see what else we find. Easter. It's day three. We're still <laughs> clearing soil. Done really well over the last couple of days, but there is so much to do. And it is a lot colder today, so we'll see how far we can get. But I'm hoping this afternoon that we finish this bit here in the courtyard and that we can actually get out into the front garden and clear that. And that's going to make it a lot easier for me to carry on with my herb garden and my front area so hopefully this holiday this easter holiday i'll be going to the herb farm to buy some more herbs Thank you. 
and it's so much nicer today which has been really pleasant so I'm going to spin you around we've achieved so much and I'll show you what we've done so this is what we've mainly been working on all weekend so under here there is a huge trench which is linking the boiler which is in there to the oil tank which is over there you can see that this is now a lot lower we're going to actually terrace this which is why that's higher over there and this was oh here's the trench here and over there is a huge hole it's the soak away for the guttering from the house so this has now got to be infilled with concrete pellets and then covered back over so we have done so much if we go around here you can see how much waste there is we definitely need to have a collection of this waste it's going to cost a couple of thousand to get it all taken away but we have no choice and if we just go here Mark is now finally getting around to helping me sort out my front garden so I better get going and help him. It's Tuesday, excuse my voice, I'm full of cold. So it's Tuesday and I just wanted to show you what we've done. The dig has gone back now. We didn't finish everything which is a shame but let me show you. If you were wondering why we're not getting on with the shower and the bathroom it's because we need the plumbers to come and this is now the trench which means the plumbers can come hopefully if we can get hold of them and connect a pipe to the oil tank if you thought my garden looked bad at the beginning of weekend look at it now absolutely wrecked and there is loads and loads and loads of soil and rubble to have taken away we really do need to get on to that sooner rather than later get to the tree trunks but they are still there we didn't get a chance to lift those up we're definitely going to have to get a digger and a dumper back another weekend and then this is the front we started it but oh gosh we were so tired that at about seven o'clock last night we had to concede that we were not going to get this finished so that's just a job for another day. I hope you enjoyed following our weekend's activities. Bit of a different vlog for us, although it's really good to be back doing DIY and hopefully we'll just get more and more done this year and make major steps forward. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you again next time. Bye for now.